And Mori goes, this is where, um, Azul and his wife live. So, um, I'm not sure if Azul's home, because he's out a lot as a merchant. Who's Azul? Merchant. The merchant. The traveling merchant. Maybe his wife can tell us something. One way to find out, boys. You you go ahead. Um, I walk up to the door and I go. I'm going to hide. We've seen for a second. Hide? Hide. Why are you hiding? Just just run back. Someone, one of you go. Uh, I'll stay. You know the guy. You should talk to him. Yeah, you stay. You know him. But he doesn't really. I don't know how she will react. We'll see. To the planet was better to you. To 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 see me, yeah. How you Okay. Want. Is there a you, window? I, I can uh, stay yeah. with the bear. You go with the bear a little bit into the forest, and you stay here. Does the house have any windows we can peek in through? To begin. <laughs> Make yourself yeah. even more. Assess suspicious. the situation. <laughs> Well, if he's saying that they're gonna react weirdly, we don't know. What's no, I'm it just like important. he's supposed to talk because he knows the it guy. We don't. To note, by the way, I already knocked on the door. Oh. <laughs> oh but anyway. so okay, then I guess <laughs> we just <laughs> crowd in front of the door. Yeah, that's why I you okay. gotta take bear. The bear goes after you a bit reluctantly. But, um... Does he have a leash? You're a waterbender, aren't you? <laughs> little water leash on. Not bad if. Yeah, you can put a little water leash on it. Like a little ice collar and then like. Rely on skills leash. and training. Oh, God. Seven plus what's. Uh, that's. Focus. Uh, focus, right? Don't that's a six. <laughs> you kill the bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no you're gonna splash it all quickly. <laughs> Choke it. It's, it's a simple enough move to. Do. Cool. It's just a little okay. ice circle and then just leash. Yeah. Ice circle? Uh. So, Color. Okay. The platypus bear does marble a, a bit, uh, similar to the sound <laughs> that nah. V just made, uh, but a bit louder <laughs> to voice um, his discomfort from having a very cold slab of ice in his neck. <laughs> okay, does anybody open the door? Um, after no, you, nobody home. After you knock on the door. Um, you hear some stumbling, um, some shoving of things, shoving things into place. Uh, and when the doors opened, you see a middle old, middle aged lady with uh, long dark hair and green eyes standing in the door. She's about um, well, a bit taller than you guys are, slightly ever so. Uh, and she's clad in very um, simple robes. Yes. Good morning, miss. Good morning. Is uh, your husband home by chance? No, he is not. You want to do some trading, I presume, if you're looking yeah. for my husband? Yeah, that's but you're quite early in. Uh, it's, it's been a long night. It's been quite a long night. You were traveling through the night. Yeah, we had to. It's uh, a bit st- a time-sensitive issue, to say. Um, do you recognize this man, my point of morning? Uh, no. Okay, that was the first thing I checked. Do you know by chance when your husband is gonna come home? Uh, what was his schedule for this week? Um, and she goes back inside and goes to look. At some parchment on a table, you can peek in through the door. Uh, and she goes. Um, and then when she's inside, while she's inside, I assess the situation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a five. That's uses creativity, I believe. That's a six. That's still mm-hmm. a failure. <laughs> Unless you just focus with chance. No, it's creativity. No. No, that's, that's fit. No, I just stand, just like a fucking see. Uh, what you. Well, you can't really assess, but what you With see. With a six, from you can eyes. do one question, right? Or? No, it's seven that's and seven. Uh, sadly. Mm. Uh, well, 
you still do see things with your eyes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm blind. Yeah, you're not suddenly blinded because that will be a bit weird. Um, I think this campaign we should all just be legally blind <laughs> unless we roll high and then we suddenly have eyes. Oh, just because you're an earthbender, you're blind. Okay. <laughs> So while she's um, shoving some papers around on the on the table, you see a, a simple looking cottage, just little a little fireplace with a <laughs> cooking pot um, above it, uh, and there's some um, well some sweet smelling soup on there, um, and there's the table with the tape papers on it, and uh, two rooms in the back, and uh, several just chests around. Who is anyone standing next to me at the door? I think all of us. Yeah. Uh, Do we you all guys fit in the door? Before. Yeah, except uh, I thought uh, I thought you guys were like, still in the little like opening, and I'm just standing in the door, like, hello. No, I think well, we're so with you. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Are you? Are you standing? I mean, next I thought like, we all went. Guy, because I for sure walked up ahead and just knocked yeah. on the door. And you put Mori next to you. I just I left him there. I just oh. pointed to Tonrak, say, take the bear, and just knocked, and then. Point, I also I thought we were all like story. just very close to the, to the door when this was happening like that we were yeah. just arguing like outside of the door so we're there right yeah and then we do that we're there okay so Shika, you Kochen and Mori at the door and Torak and the, bear. the platypus bear are in the back guys do you I'm see any five black again. hands I mean, not really. Maybe, Maybe we can just ask her. As well, the wind says. Yeah. <laughs> you can't really ask those things because there is like a bad punishment for being in these things. Oh. But it's kind this of guy is supposed to be a traveling merchant, right? So shouldn't his house be bigger? Why, if, why, are, why are we well, there? I mean, the maybe it's not a very successful one. Yeah, well, I mean, look at the clothes of his okay, wife. There must be a reason. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. And we wait for the woman to come back. Why, why, why are, are we there? there? Why are we here, actually? You're not there. Because they know where the black hand people yeah. are. And yeah. we have to, like, somehow get that information. And, um... She comes back and says, "Like I think we should just ask." Uh, do you want to say anything else? Uh, uh, we'll, we'll get to it in a sec. Do you know when your husband's going uh, by chance? He, he sh- oh. If he's um, if he's not stopped along the way, he should be home for lunch today. Okay. Hopefully, because I made his favorite. Uh, so that's that. Uh, do you want? To wait, or do you have anything I can do for yeah, you? We'll, I can we'll, do some basic trading as well. Oh uh, no, we'll wait for a sec. We have quite um a bit more exotic order, a bit a bit more of an exotic trade. So we'll ah, special. Bit. Yeah, a bit more special. So we'll just wait for your husband. What is your special order? Um, well, it is an animal of kind. It's not too. It's um, animal. let's say exotic cattle. Yeah, but we can't go too much in depth, mostly to, you know, just safety. We'll wait till your husband is here and then we can just... We're looking for, for a buyer and when your husband may, you know, put it in touch with somebody that could be interested. Yeah. You don't think I would be capable enough to uh, handle this trade? And I, I'm like, I told you to just ask her. I mean, I don't know, are you? We only, we've only heard through our friend of your husband, but we don't know anything. He hasn't said anything about his wife, so we don't know. Yeah, the wife is always in the back, isn't she? Uh, but um, I'm capable enough. Okay, we, well, we have some more exotic animal. Uh, mostly, not the bear type. Very good for, well, just with a lot of raw strength. Which I think Mushroom. could be used in certain areas very well. But we need to get in touch with someone who can get us towards those people. Like rebellious activities. <laughs> like, you know... <laughs> You're not so there. Like, out loud? No. No, but it would be funny if we were just like <laughs> <laughs> No, but like, <laughs> things like, you know, hauling heavy equipment, 
uh, but also like defense against transporting uh, rations. Yeah, transporting rations. goods. Rations. <laughs> rations. Oh, rations. rations. <laughs> right. But, no, also like for transport. Rations. Uh, for rations. Rations. Yeah. Rations. Oh. Yeah. That was for transporting goods, for pulling machinery, for defense against. We have an oxen. We don't have an oxen, sadly. No, we have, a plat- we have a platypus bear. Oh, so you're just gonna tell her? Why did you? I think at this point <laughs> I, I want to interrupt the conversation and ask them out loud. Maybe we should continue this conversation inside. It's yes, kind of that a is sensitive a... matter. Let's you, not. You, you have piqued my interest. Uh, Can we come inside, please? One second. Let me just clean up and uh, put the kettle on. Um, and she closes the door and there's some more sh- shuffling around and. <coughs> I turned to the group and I'm like, well, that went well. I, guys, I think someone else should also go to the purpose bear. Um, no, no, stay there. Cause... No, mostly <laughs> to have two people there because it's becoming day and we're kind of in a platypus bear in the forest, you know. No one's around. Still, it's how mostly. How am I handling the platypus It's mostly bear? the bear. Yeah, how is he handling the bear? Yeah, Do we hear like this? Are you doing anything specific? With the bear, because <laughs> it's a bit agitated. Mm. Uh, the bear. <laughs> Maybe I look around for some food for the bear. Are you staying with the bear or leaving the bear alone? <laughs> <With the bear. laughs> In a facility. You're with just more whipping off for five minutes. Like you think you can stay with the bear? <laughs> um. Well, she has plopped down onto the ground, like a little bear sitting. Very oh. cutesy. But like with the beak. Did you guys well. know that bears make laser sounds? Lasers? Laser baby ba- bears make like a sound that sounds like a laser. I'll like pew pew. I'll search it up now when we have a break. Lasers. Yeah, yeah, it's very cute. And the edit that in. I'll Please send you the link. Add it in. We need some laser sounds. <laughs> okay. Some six month volt laser sounds. Continue. I'll show the video on the break. Nice. Please do. Um are we? Uh, you you were looking for food. Yeah. So the back so end. roll for that. Uh, well, I'll describe the back bit of the um, house to you. So. Oh, like I, I'm right behind the house. Yeah. Oh, did you go into the forest? Right? <laughs> I thought there was anything in the forest. Oh, are you in the forest? <laughs> I, I thought you were like at the at the back side of the house, just waiting there, or something. But okay, I you're in the forest. Yeah. No, that changes that changes the situation. Um, yeah, you can, if you don't have any wilderness in your background, you can, no, you have no, you can, uh, assess a situation, see if you see anything that's edible. With it, which, uh, stat? Uh, that's, uh, grade 50. Plus two. Uh, that's a six, that's six. Six. That's a six. That's not enough. <coughs> uh, you do see some plants around, but you're not sure whether they're edible. And when you put them off to uh, the platypus bear's um, nose, seeing sniffs is at sniffs mm-hmm. out of the nose. Be beak. <coughs> beak. Beak nose. Nose is on the beak. But it's still a mammal. Does it have a nose? Yeah. Probably. It's a mammal. That doesn't mean they, they have, have like nose. two, two nose, nose holes in? at the like, uh, like face the side of the whale doesn't have a sense of smell. What? Oh, the, the answer is and oh, the yes and yeah. no. They have a bill with nostrils. Yeah. Not a beak. Yeah. It's a bill. A bill. So the bill goes and sniffs at the plant that you offer and mm-hmm. like. Well, Very big as well. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you. Do you do yeah. anything else in the forest? Uh, uh, got some shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's food. A few shit yeah. in the woods, but nobody. Will the will the platypus bear eat it? <laughs> Not gonna try that. Doubtful. Um, 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 uh, I'll uh, try to pet that <laughs> bear. <laughs> That's a good choice. I think you have to rely on skills and training for that. Rely on skills and training. That's uh, 9 plus... Focus. Minus 1, that's 8. 
with your with your expertise from living in the wild, you're able to pet the bear. Very uh, expert wild <laughs> living person, yes. Uh, well, you gained a new insight that a platypus bear is actually very soft. Because he still has the. The, the color. The dons. Uh, the yeah. baby fur. Yeah. Baby fur. Yeah. Well. <laughs> the no. dog. And it is baby fluff. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Sheen kind of oh, leans into it and leans into the touch Do, as well. Does he uh. make that Perry the Platypus noise? <laughs> 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 So the platypus bear just rolls on its back, just... Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know, it made like a sound like that, like... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Yeah, exactly that! Can you just read it again? No, probably not. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> uh, please? <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of that, yeah! Oh, okay, official platypus oh. bear voice actor <laughs> for the game. Oh. You know? Who voices the uh, fairy platypus? The guy from SpongeBob. No. D. Bradley Baker. He's yeah. very, very cool. He also voices all the clones in Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> he's Fun fact: yeah. all of them. Yeah. Yeah. All clones. yeah, there's all clones. They're Isn't the that just voice. the one saying "Roger, oh, Roger"? No, no, it's the drums. Right. Yeah. Nice. So while Tormak is uh, patting uh, the little platypus bear in the forest and making noises. Well, Clavis Bear is. Um, we return to uh, the four of you. Sorry. Uh, standing uh, in front of the closed door and it being open again after uh, around two minutes. And it looks uh, a bit cleaner than it did before. And there's a uh, there's several cups on the table and some tea in a pot. And uh, the lady goes... Uh, do come in, uh, children Thank and Thank you very much. And man. man. <laughs> yeah, but it's a oh, long yeah. story. Yeah. Are you and and she turns to Mori, are you are you are you their guardian? He is uh um... No, we just met him. Okay, that's also a lie. Uh he... <laughs> But we did, like yesterday. We, we, we will <laughs> fair enough. We will get to it in a second. He's just following with the group. It is in relation He had the bear. To, uh, uh, kettle. Come, come, come in. Uh, come These are in. wild times. Yes, better to do this by closed doors. Yes. And she sits you down at the table. Door. So, a platypus bear. You said he got it? Uh, he found an egg and grew it, but the problem is we're from a uh, village a few hours. The well, other we're way. not from there. Well, we're helping the village. And um, in two days, the Fire Nation are coming to take their usual theft. Um, ah, yes. And, well, this good fella here uh, took all the food ration for the fire that we had to give to the Fire Nation to feed the bear. And, and Maurice dribbles a bit. Not, not all of it, <laughs> mind you. Mm-hmm. But like a lot. Like most of it. So we are now in the position that we have a six month old platypus bear, which is growing very healthily. And we need enough food, at least, to um, be able to pay the theft. So, so we were wondering if you if I we're did that correctly, um, the lady goes, you want, in return for the, for the bear, for the cub, you want food. Yes. Yeah. We're, we're forcing him to give his own bear. We're just trying food. to make it so that the village doesn't, well, you okay. know what they do. And we think that this bear can be of great use to, um, because of its straight value. A certain oh, yeah. resistance. Maybe we should actually mention, we're, we're, we're looking to, to sell it to the, 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 well, the, the, we're looking to sell it to whoever buys it, as long as it's not the Fire Nation. And as but long as they don't eat it. Ex- it would be extra nice if it could be used to also, you know, beat the fuckers. And we were wondering sure, if either be. you or your sure. husband might know someone or be able to help us to get in contact with anyone who would be interested in the offer. You know, if you know a guy who knows uh, a guy. We're asking some uh, 
we don't dangerous information we don't need child. to know yeah. answers we don't need to know anything we just but need actually to... we don't need to know answers. well we need, to, we need to find someone who wants the bear and we can have the food we it's not our interest in the resistance we need to help the village and um we are searching for one specific man from the resistance but that's separate the um uh, long dark head woman turns to the uh, to to mori did did azul um talk again azula azul oh <laughs> triggered mm. <laughs> It was the name of the merchant. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Mori goes, mm, yeah, I offered him a drink and he kind of, uh, yeah. And you see the lady's face just go. I'm, just, I'm, I'm again. just sitting here face palming, just. Yeah. <laughs> that happened again. Okay, uh, yeah. I think we can make a deal. That would be great. Um, Do you want to see the platypus bear? Oh yeah, but with you, we, we have it like wow. just just in the forest. And with with like, us, like right now. Okay, I've, I've never actually seen one, so. Yeah, oh, it's do, very do you have a shed or something that could go and that's not outside in the forest in plain light? Uh, not exactly a shed above ground. If it can go anywhere, it's good. <laughs> we found it in a cave, so a basement's probably okay. Yeah. Okay, Ryu gets up and calls Tondrak and is like, Come over with the bear! It's all good! What? I can't hear you. Hmm? What? Mm. I can't hear you. Come with the bear! <laughs> mm, Which bear? <laughs> Just come over here! <laughs> <laughs> he was just like... I don't understand what he's saying. I don't I'm, I'm, just, yeah, I'm yelling, yelling louder, come over here. With oh the bear! Man. Not with the bear, just come. Okay. Not with the bear! Oh, uh, with the bear? So I walk <laughs> over without the bear. <laughs> I walk there with the bear. Staying a bit hidden behind the trees. Uh, like, uh, being a bit uh, watchful. Uh, mm -hmm. But I see they're sitting there normally, so I'll, I'll come closer. Yeah, they're like waving at you like, like that. <laughs> So I come up near and uh, did you make come a deal? Closer. Well, we're getting there. Uh, but it's time to get the bear in a safe place. Okay. Also, she wants to see it. Does she maybe have some food? Do you think he's a bit hungry? Do you happen to have some food by chance? It's a big grown boy. Uh, yeah, um, maybe have some, um, some stuff in storage. What, what, what does a Platypus bear eat. Mm, you look at Apparently Maurice. cabbages. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, um, what was the name of the woman again? You never asked. I never asked. By but the way, what's um, your name? I'm um, Cornelia, but you can call me Leo. Hi. Leo. Uh, this old man hero, this is Maury. Um, mm. He is the only one who can currently properly control bear. If you have any bear related questions, he's your man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mori talks to Cornelia for a second uh, about what it kind of is. And from uh, the conversation you overhear, you understand that this guy had no clue what he's doing either. Mm. Oh. Just feeding the poor thing anything at all and just seeing what it mm. ate. And um, if it one day just had a, you know, a bit more of... a a larger problem of flatlands, he just wouldn't give the thing again. So, um, so platypus, platypus bears don't really go well with onions, apparently. Okay. Then why did you take all the onions? <laughs> <laughs> is she see things. like is the platypus bear there? Does she see it? Yeah, it's, very, it's like in front of her. Yeah. Does she like it? <laughs> Do you think it's cute? Do you want to pet it? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, isn't, isn't, it isn't dangerous? It's young. Okay. Uh, Just make sure you roll no, high. Ma <laughs> I have insight that the Vladus bear is very soft. So. Um, maybe not right okay, now. I, I roll to pet the bear. Okay, just 
Okay, yeah, 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 can I also pet it? Why did I need to roll? <laughs> <laughs> because you were alone with the bear. Yeah, Where was Mori? Yeah. Uh, you can pet it if you want. I'm gonna pet the bear. Go, See, it's very, it's very soft. It's mm-hmm. nice when Mori is here. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Leah goes. Mm. Yeah, I'll just stay here for now. That's oh, well, that's, that's fair. That's fair. fair. It is a bear. But thank you. Yes. Yes, but also a platypus. Let's no, let's get it in. Uh, let's get it somewhere safe so it's not outside before yeah. anyone sees us. Um, we'll use the side entrance, I guess. Cool. Um, and she walks on over to the house again and opens one of the sheds outside. Uh, shows some things as aside uh, and underneath a larger chest is a little hatch that she opens and it leads um, down with a ladder 